a very warm welcome to my dear star seeds how have all of you been star seeds i hope you've been well and you're doing absolutely happy and your mood is in great elevation and um, now in your elevated self let's assess that what are the messages which your guardian angels and your spirit guides want to convey to you or what are the messages which your aradhya whoever you pray to like uh, if you're praying to lord vishnu or if you're a follower of mahadev mahakali or vaheguru ji so um or allah so whichever are your guiding spirits what are their messages for you so let's find out today in the reading and we're going to do it uh in a little different way i have three forms of lord ganesha and this is rose quartz have a careful look at it if your energy and if your power is in resonance with the rose quartz then pile number 1 will be your reading and second in line lord ganesha is coming in the form of sodalite to you and this is pile number 2 If your energy resonates with pile two, then pile two is going to be your reading. And thirdly, we have the beautiful Lord Ganesha in the form of the tiger's eye. So if your energy is resonating with the tiger's eye, Ganesha, then pile three shall be your reading. So I'm going to catch you at your pile. with the messages that what are your spirit guides and what are your guardian angels and your aradhya what are they trying to communicate to you now so in the energetic form we're going to do some shuffling which i have already pre-done and i've kept for you so for pile number 1 first online from the lunar cycles because this is extremely powerful pious and is going to resonate very strongly and powerfully with your energy because these are messages which are coming straight from lord moon lord chandra so this is a fiery climax which is close approaching and full moon is experienced in the zodiac of aries so at this point of time you could be feeling a bit me 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 <laughs> and there could also be a tug of war between you and your person whoever you're thinking of while you're asking questions or while you've chosen pile 1 so it could be that there is some kind of uh, uh you know me 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 and also that you could be having some time some kind of a resilience that you need your way and your person wants the things their way So what you have to do is that in the energy of the full moon in Aries you got to wait for a bit you got to wait for a while and you've got to watch that what is coming up next in your uh, equation with you and the person whoever you're thinking while you're asking the question through your uh, spirit guides and guardian angels and also um you've got to wait and you've got to ask yourself that are you handling the situation with great sensitivity as much as you could have done in this situation so maybe you're getting a little harsh maybe you're getting a little impulsive and maybe your energy is quite over the top because full moon energy in any case you know it's reaching its climax it's reaching its peak points and uh, the zodiac sign of aries is highly energized impulsive erratic enthusiastic so you've got to tone down a bit and you also have to consider that be sensitive in this kind of a situation in which you're dealing with this person of yours on the mind and also deep down you know that you've acted little rash and you could have also acted little impulsively and you could have acted little fast and you could have overstepped the boundaries or you could have overstepped the mark so um if you accept 
this kind of uh, uh, what should I say? This kind of a behavior or a response of yours, then um, be brave enough to accept it, and also um, you could apologize if that's uh, something which you're comfortable doing. That also could be considered. And also, you've got yourself in this situation. Whatever you're asking about, if it's become messy and out of your hands, but you have created this situation you've got yourself in it and you have the power and energy to create a way out of it so that's good news and also in the energy of um, the full moon in aries you've got uh, to be assertive which is very good but don't ride rough short and uh, over anyone don't do it you can avoid it simply and also um, you can need to have more fun and also the situation which you are in could be extremely intense so what you can do is that you can pull your heels by meditation so meditative practices is beautiful when uh, your energy has pulled out this particular card and also like I said that Aries is a super fiery uh, and a very intense and a highly high octave emotional energy which you could be experiencing within along with the full moon's energy so your tempers could be flared up and also the excitement of what's ahead could also be there on the alongside so um, just avoid to take rash decisions and avoid to also um, rush your comments because maybe there's this desire of um, just speaking without much thought and without much caution please do that because if you don't do that then there could be a price to pay if you've been competitive or if you've been extremely blunt so take care of that and next in line we have this beautiful energy of the waxing crescent moon so have faith in your dreams is the second message which is coming for my sweet pile one and also this is the time where in the lunar phase is waxing and it's the crescent moon so this energy is speaking you to not give up on the situation whatever you're asking about is going to take shape and you have to have faith and you have to have belief in your manifestations because um, it's just the beginning and you your manifestations will take shape and though it could be nowhere at this point of time but it is shaping up and your story will reach an ending and whatever is happening now in your life you're just a step away from along your way and also everything will be okay towards the end so don't worry don't give up whatever you're manifesting and whatever you're thinking about and also however in the waxing crescent moon uh, this card is a reminder that you must keep it you must keep working towards whatever you wish to achieve and also you must take practical steps and uh, towards achieving your goal and also in the energetic way you need to spend time meditating about on your goal and also meditating upon whatever subject you want to influence or whatever you're so contemplating to have in your life uh, because when you meditate you're allowing your higher self to do the downloading and this whole reading is in any case about what do your higher selves and what do your spirit guide uh, what do your spirit angels want to guide you through so it's definitely that you open yourself while you know in meditation to your uh, spirit guides in an energetic way so that they help you in downloading information which will be best used towards your next step and also overall the card uh, which is waxing crescent moon is suggesting to you that be hopeful and be very very uh, enthusiastic 
because there's every reason for your manifestation to become a reality and to actually uh, transpire in the reality in your coming future so keep faith and also you might not be able to see your dreams coming in fruition now but that doesn't mean that they are not manifesting they definitely are so don't look back stay focused and keep moving ahead towards your dream towards your destination and also be patient because the events will unfold when the right divine timing is there and also dig a little deeper because you'll find more courage when you do so and also pursue your dreams chase your goals that's what the waxing crescent moon wants to convey to you through your spirit guides and then last in line the energy which your spirit guides have pulled out the energy is gaining momentum in the waxing moon the energy is gaining momentum in the waxing moon during the waxing moon cycle hope springs in eternity so this card is speaking of an extremely positive emotion which indicates that whatever you're manifesting this is again a second reminder because the first one was waxing crescent moon which was giving this message so this is a further affirmation that whatever you're manifesting you have the power and the universe is also blessing you to make it into a reality and whatever you're dreaming is in a dream state at this point of time but it will take your hard work and uh, you might not be quite there but this is a time wherein your energies will be rising up and also your emotions will be rising and your emotions will also be building up so um where do you really want to go and do you believe that you have the capacity to reach there whichever situation or whichever points of uh, heights or pinnacle points you want to go to and you want to be there so do you believe that you'll be able to do it and you'll be able to reach there and either you keep focusing on that point that uh, power high tech point either you keep focusing and you keep manifesting and you keep meditating or you take a courageous committed step and you walk and move towards your designated goal with your hard work your efforts and your endeavors in a practical way so whatever you decide to do whether it is to manifest it to meditate on it or to uh, walk and walk towards the committed um heightened point you are most definitely on the correct track that's what the energy of the waxing moon wants to tell you and your situation whatever you were asking about in an energetic way and your spirit guides want to convey this that whatever is on your mind at this point of time the situation has got great potential and also your dreams will come true and also you have to ensure um and review your goals and also you have to move ahead towards your goals and uh, that's all that i have for my dear pal one and be high with the energies and with the energies of gratitude and with the energies that your spirit guides and your guardian angels are definitely looking over you they are blessing you they are protecting you and uh, that you picked up lord ganesha in the rose quartz form these are also giving you a few messages that this is the stone which is most used in the matters of love and in the matters of relationships so maybe your question is uh, revolving around love romance and also you want to open your heart to unconditional love that's why you've chosen the rose quartz energy my dear pile number 1 and also this encourages you towards forgiveness maybe you've been um, cheated 
or maybe you've gone through a broken heart kind of a situation so that's why you were drawn to the energies of the rose quartz which wants you to heal your pain because you definitely have gone through pain in your recent past that's why you were attracted to this stone and also this is going to heal your pain which you have due to the breakup the hate the jealousies and the resentments because you've gone through all that that's why your energy attracted um the ganesha which is made of beautiful rose quartz and also this will have a very calming and a very soothing effect on your emotions so probably that's why you've chosen the rose quartz because this speaks of unconditional love and it speaks of relationships and it also uh, speaks of calmness so definitely your question was revolving around love romance uh, the heartbreak heartache pain and now the phase is a healing phase so in the lunar cycles it's collaborated with the energy of the rose quartz ganesha so lord ganesha wants to heal and wants to bless so you can pray to lord ganesha in the rose quartz form and um, that's all that i have for my dear pal number one and i shall soon see you at some other reading and do like my channel do subscribe if you appreciate the content and also write your precious comments because it's coming in the form of your blessing towards your astrologer uh sara and um you can bless and you can also share the channel with your friends and at some other reading i'm going to catch you so lots of love satsri akal and om namah shivaya to my dear star seeds bye star seeds by one bye bye a very warm welcome to my pile number 2 and if you've chosen the sodalite lord ganesha then pile to i'm going to begin your reading in a bit and let me tell you that your energy is pulled out um the sodalite lord uh, ganesha this is particularly a stone which is associated to the third eye and also the brow and the crown chakra so it's going to help you to get rid of rigidity maybe your uh, because your energy pulled out uh, the sodalite lord ganesha so you could be experiencing rigidity at this point of time so if you meditate on the sodalite and lord ganesha you will get rid of the rigidity and also the behavioral patterns and the thoughts uh you know the repeated patterns which are forming this rigidity you this sodalite energy could help you to get rid of it and also you could um be experiencing some kind of panic attacks or some phobias you could be experiencing in the energy of this lord ganesha so if you meditate on this you could experience relief on that matters as well and also it'll balance your consciousness and also your subconsciousness because at the conscious and subconscious states you could be experiencing restlessness and also mm, some lymphatic cleanser cleansing some lymphatic cleansing and also detoxing you could be experiencing if you meditate on this form of lord ganesha because maybe you're eating a uh, junk food and maybe your body is holding lots of toxicity so you really need to detox and your lymphatic system could also experience some woes so definitely um meditation on this form of lord ganesha will help and also if you could be experiencing fever in your recent past this will control it so i thought just give you the message of lord ganesha in this form coming across to you and before i begin your session i want to request you that do subscribe uh, to my channel 
in the form of your blessings if you appreciate the content and the hard work and the effort sincerity which goes in uh, making of these videos you are most welcome to subscribe and also um, hit and click on the like button and you're welcome also to shower your love and your blessings in the form of comments uh, for your astro Sarah and um, and also share the videos with your lovely friends and your family members because they can also enjoy these lovely readings so the first card which has come up in line is that the full moon in Scorpio and it gives a message that release the negativity you could be feeling a lot of paranoia see it's quite coinciding with the Lord Ganesha's energy when I said that you know they are rigid behavioral patterns and you have to overcome maybe you're experiencing panic attack or phobias so this is a confirmation you know the new uh, full moon in Scorpio that you could be feeling paranoia acting very weirdly and thus there is a direct message which is coming from the cosmos is that stop it make a positive effort to stop it worrying yourself pointlessly uh uh point taken uh. don't worry yourself pointlessly and this is also time to relieve to release the negative which you have around in the particular situation which you're asking or thinking about and also some people could be unkind to you definitely i am seeing that for you perhaps it's time for you to release those energies from your life and this card heralds great intense emotional time period which you could be experiencing in the energies of the full moon and also in the energies of scorpio because when the Mm, full moon happens it's already at the peak or and it's already at the climax point so which means that great heightened emotions and a time wherein you have to take a major decision so the major decision is that the toxic people have to be shown the door out the exit door is for them <laughs> so that's what you need to show them and also at this time you could be feeling lots of feelings and also like i said that there could be nastiness in the air because your energies pulled out this kind of a uh, card so maybe your spirit guardian angels want to tell you the way to deal with it and the universe wants you to cut off from the negative toxic people and the situations simple rule is cut off and also for some reasons that you're experiencing these intense energies uh, there's also something very sensuous which the energy of Scorpio speaks about something very magnetically intense and which could mean that the intimate connection which you're having maybe you experience lots of intense magnetic connection with this somebody who's due to come and also um, your inside might be brought outside in the full moon in Scorpio. So there's a message coming from your spirit guys that my sweet pile too, you have to live joyously and you have to release your fears which are sabotaging your happiness. And also um, you have a right to be slightly suspicious at this point of time about the new people which are uh, who are going to venture in your life be judicious be sensible and if you feel like being suspicious in the um, full, full moon in Scorpio please do that check the credentials check the facts before giving your heart away and also let go the past grudges they're very toxic that came across in the Ganesha's, Lord Ganesha's energy too. And also um, an argument will end at this point of time. And you know what is going to end in your favor. So next on line, we have the full moon in Cancer, which is speaking that a personal issue reaches a resolution. So let's find out more about this energy. 
so a personal issue sh- shall reach resolution and also full moon here in cancer is giving a message that things are likely to get heated at this point of time when the full moon goes in cancer and also they could be since cancer is a extremely emotional sign it speaks of the energy of the fourth house which is your house your peace of mind your happiness your mother's lap also uh, your education and also it's the sign which connects you to be like a leader to the masses so and it's uh, great in emotions and it has this uh, quality of nurturing and of caring so at this point of time and in any case we spoke that full moon is moon reaching its heightened position it's reaching its climax points that this point of time you could feel extremely emotional because moon is in its own house and in uh, cancer sign the moon is extremely emotional so there could be a combination uh, which is happening which is there could be explosiveness of feelings surrounding to the question whatever you've asked it could be your question in your conscious subconscious could be extremely emotional in nature so the super super emotional sign and the super emotional question uh, is definitely there and also your spirit guides want to say that have um finesse in sensibilities and also tread carefully towards your goals and your dreams so the carefulness has to be there and also this card um, indicates a special feminine time because the sign of cancer and moon are highly feminine energies they're not masculine in nature so have this feminine time and the feminine energy is brimming and coming across if you're a male here so it's definitely going to connect you to the she and if you're a she then it's going to connect you to your own divine feminine self and also to the lovely um, female energies around and also this time heralds um to deal with any family issues which could be coming up or which you're already experiencing though there's nothing to worry because whatever challenges you were experiencing in your domestic life in your emotional front they are already coming to an end in the full moon in cancer and also there could be time wherein you know you might be moving in a new home finding a new house and moving there or you might be wanting to do up the interiors and get a very new look to your house and you could be introducing some very luxurious commodities which are which could make your life more convenient more happy more comfortable and also this is a time for being a great leader so that sweet emotional sensitive leader that you could be and also you can meditate on your heightened emotions and don't sulk sulk because in the um uh, full moon in uh cancer maybe you know you get disappointed and you get emotionally hurt and you start sulking no no don't do that and also create family time and create family time now and since it's cancer's own house so astrologically whatever should be will be so don't worry and all will be well in the energy of new full moon in cancer and next in line last but not the least don't let pride come your way and this is the message of full moon in leo So the last card in line for my sweet pile number 2 is the full moon in Leo. Don't get pride coming in your way. So this is for my king and my queens here and RJ you are my original king. You are the emperor. So <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> so have you been letting uh your pride come in your way? The kings and the queens because this is full moon in leo 
So um, the question which you're asking or the question which your spirit guides or your guardian, guardian angels want to uh, get across to you as pile two is that uh, please differentiate because the question which you're thinking about uh, is it based on your ego because that's the uh, leonine energy or is it based off your heart because that's also the leonine energy which speaks of great emotions and great heart so please differentiate that what is it is it ego or is it the matter of heart and uh, the leo energy the kings and the queens that you are listening this is all about the large-hearted king of the jungle which is the lion and the energy here which is coming across ex extremely magnificent especially when it's connected with the full moon in leo and uh, the flamboyance and the aristocracy and the regality could be rather over the top <laughs> in the full moon's energy but since this card has chosen to come to you my dear pile number two you could end a deadlock and how do you end the deadlock which you're experiencing you end it with more love and you end it with a greater good so when you're going to think of more love and you're going to be uh, thinking of where the greater good is, the deadlock and the solution to the dilemma will be achieved. And also, please at this point of time, find a balance between your needs and also the needs of the other people around you. Because I'm sure in the energy of the full moon in Leo, you will find an equilibrium and you will find a perfect balance. Uh, to do things for yourself and also to keep the ones around you happy and also self-esteem is very good at this point of time but not vanity so uh, because Leo energy speaks both of self-pride dignity and um, it also speaks of the ego and vanity so it's wonderful to have uh, high self-esteem and be absolutely thinking that you're the best because of course the king of the jungle is the best that's why he's the king otherwise there are other animals who are bigger and more powerful but he's the king the king of the jungle leo so everybody is equally important because for the king everybody is equally important and also this is the leo sign is highly creative so your creative uh, instincts and your creative selves could be followed. These are the messages from your spirit guides and your ancestors. And also um, a friendship could be ending at this point of time in the energy of full moon in Leo because the friendships can be ending if they solve no purpose in your evolution and development. So that's all that I have for my lovely pile two. And I'm soon going to uh, see you at some other wonderful subject in, and in some other reading. So wherever you are, it's uh, Satsriya Kal and Om Namah Shivaya and lots of love from your Astro Sara. And do like, subscribe and share the lovely channel with your other friends. And uh, I'm going to see you at some other reading. So God bless our seeds. Take care. Bye. See you. A very warm welcome to my pile number three. If you've chosen this lovely tiger eye, Lord Ganesha, so this is your reading. First, let me tell you that you pulled out a stone of great courage. And also, this is a psychic protector and it um, infuses great amount of willpower and confidence in a person. And also, this is controlling the solar plex area and meditating on um, the tiger's eye lord ganesha or wearing the crystal jewelry or having it close to your uh, you know solar plex could accentuate the solar plex and could um, have wonderful functioning of it as well and when you've chosen this uh, stone it means that you um, 
are encouraging passion in your life and also it could trigger your willpower and it could also trigger your passion for success and also this could protect you from black magic maybe you're experiencing all that at this point of time or maybe in your recent past and it's also going to help you to manifest your thoughts and also it's going to um, elevate fears also maybe so you've got to deal with that and these are the messages which pile three uh, Lord Ganesha wants to send across to you and the card which has come first is the balsamic moon and this is the time for healing which you could be experiencing and um, this time is suggesting that let your past be your past and the bright, the bright future is beckoning and the bright future is calling out for you and however before you take your next steps be sure that your past situation is healed and be sure that you're out of your past situation because still you're not healed of your past you cannot step in your future so this is the this is not the time to put paper over the cracks and whatever arguments have happened between two people or between you and the person who you're thinking um, the situation you know if you're pretending that everything is well no it's not well so you got to heal and you got to deal with it then only you could be moving ahead in the energy of the balsamic moon so uh, like it's suggesting that it's time for healing and um, all is possible so if you believe it you can achieve it so it's time that you surrender to the universe and you wait and hear for the guidance from your ancestor spirit guides and also this is a time wherein you will get great powerful insights and that's why your pile number three you've pulled out this energetically and also like we said in the energy of the tiger eye ganesha that this is a psychic protector and this will also raise your courage and confidence that how do you heal and move ahead and also um, like i said all is possible so all you have to do is that you have to trust the universe and it will give you great powerful insights that how should you heal and how should you move ahead and if something is not solving its purpose or is not good enough for you this is a time surrender in the balsamic moon and also um, have beliefs in your dreams and whatever you're dreaming when the right come time comes uh, you'll be ready to have whatever you're manifesting and whatever you're dreaming so attune yourself to the moon is going to help you to heal and when you do this fine attunement actually everything will be healed for you and also it's time right now to let go of the past and also it's time to turn around uh, to the corner and you could be needing more time to yourself while you're going through the healing and also um, think of how can you uh, heal the situation in which you are in and also uh, in the balsamic moon there is great amount of patience which is required because healing and shadow work doesn't happen in one day it takes time so self, this is self-care time and also uh, this time could be slightly slow because it's kind of a preparation time right and also you're preparing for the new moon uh, in the balsamic moon because that's the lunar cycle after the balsamic moon comes the new moon and also go easy on yourself and also you'll experience great creative power so step in your great creative power and also give yourself all the time which is required and all the time which is needed so that's the balsamic uh, moon's energy for you which your spirit guides want to put across and then next in line prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus 
this is um, the spirit guides second message for you pile number three so in the new moon uh, in Taurus there's lots of prosperity which is lying ahead for you pile three because this card whenever it's coming up and your energies have pulled out this card you're definitely inquiring about a financial uh, condition or a financial situation is dealing with money and also you could be having a lot of self-doubt on your self-worth so this card is suggesting that you will get whatever you want especially in the material way because Taurus in the zodiac is a highly resourceful sign it's highly materialistic it speaks about uh, hoarding on great amount of wealth and great amount of material possessions and like i said it's a highly resourceful zodiac sign it's a highly resourceful rashi so what happens is that this card is suggesting that whatever in the ways of material which you wish to amass or which you wish to have as a resource you will have it but you must have belief in yourself and also like in the laws of attraction if you value yourself then others will also value you so do not have doubts on your self-worth you're very very worth it and you're very worthwhile new moon in taurus my sweet pile three so uh, you have great amount of power to create abundance in the new moon in taurus energy and also um, the goddess associated with the zodiac sign of taurus is goddess aphrodite goddess venus herself so she speaks of great prosperity abundance luxury beauty grace finesse glamour and uh, she's also speaking of pure pristine divine love because she's associated with ma lakshmi and Ma Lakshmi sits at the feet of her beloved husband with great dedication, devotion. She serves her Lord and she's seen pressing her Lord's feet. So you could be experiencing great beauty, grandeur and um, at this point of time and also lots of devotion in the matters of love. So since it's new moon, and since it's the almost the beginning of the zodiac so you whatever you are manifesting and whatever energetically your spirit guides want to tell you regarding your uh, understood question in your mind it will take some time to manifest almost 12 months yeah so have that confidence have that patience and have that quality of creating abundance because you definitely have that quality and um, for especially the matters of finance 12 months from now you can calculate to experience fruition and also a new relationship for all the singles here in the house file number three there is definitely a new relationship which is promised and you will have a more intensely intimate time and a very romantically exciting time and also if you're struggling with something pile number three the new moon in the steady and in the sturdy taurus it suggests don't give up uh, the struggle is there fine don't give up and also you could be saving start saving because taurus is that sign of hoarding and of savings it's the in the cosmic man's horoscope or in the kalpurush kundli is the second house which is house of savings so definitely this is suggesting to you that don't be stingy no live your life queen size king size but you also have to collect savings no matter however small in quantity but please do that and also this is a time to pamper yourself the venusian energy wants you to pamper yourself and also whatever you're dreaming about you'll be able to afford it don't worry and also in the energy of um, the taurus um, zodiac uh, all the material comforts which you wish to achieve you will be <clears throat> achieving it by working your magic 
and also money shall be created and whatever you dream of uh, having you will definitely have it in a, in the energy of Taurus so last but not the least this is your last card pile number three uh, new moon in Aries and this is the time to take action new moon in Aries so let's decode what your spirit guides want to tell you through this lunar cycle so my sweet pile number three with the so tiger's eye uh, new moon in Aries is what your energy pulled out and now it's time to take action because um, you know a wonderful start is beckoning and also this is the time to make that brand new start and also drawing the energy of this card uh, it's a super sign so there's something you want to happen uh, something you want to make happen in your life and this is a big yes from the universe so whatever you're thinking in your mind in the ways of the energy this is a big yes this is a big confirmation coming from the universe and now is the time wherein you've got to tune in into your dreams the journey might be a little long because this is the first sign in the zodiac which is Aries. this is the time for new beginnings and this is the time to feel very impulsive very enthusiastic and you want to start new new things so in the energy of the new moon in Aries this is a confirmation from your spirit guides pile number three that go for it this is your path this is your way and determination which is there in the uh, fiery sign of Aries and being self-assertive being very brave all you are going to experience at this point of time and also since it's a fire sign so all the hot air is going to make you um, you know close it's going to put you closer and closer and closer to the success so whatever endeavors you're asking about take it as a thumbs up you're definitely going to achieve that success but 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 there is a caution here as well don't go too fast in the energy of the impulsive Aries and in the you know hot air going uh, and making the balloon high 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 so not to uh, go too high and lose vision and focus no no don't do that so um, don't go very fast and don't forget your good manners you must treat people extremely well at this point of time because you know the fiery impulsive quick energy you might rub people the wrong way please don't do that be very careful and also while charging up towards your goals also um, take care and create better karma because this is a chance wherein you can create better karma that's the message coming across from the universe and don't think of giving up whatever you're thinking energetically while you're taking upon this reading don't give up on it and also you need a 12 months plan for whatever you've asked in the financial way in the ways of your profession business or in the ways of your love or romance and also also for the beautiful uh, ladies around a new male is going to enter your life now this is a very masculine energy i don't know what to say to the males uh, or maybe a masculine kind of a you know woman having a more uh, divine masculine uh, energized in her maybe you could succumb upon her and for the beautiful ladies in the house here my pile number three you could have a wonderful new male entering your life and um, avoid being brash at this point of time and that's all that I have for my wonderful pile three and if you appreciate the intense hard work and the research and the arrangements and the time which goes in the making of these lovely lovely uh, divinely orchestrated uh, sessions so you're welcome to subscribe and also share with the like-minded people and let the channel grow and let us evolve together and let's go to the lovely let's go through the lovely lunar cycles and let's evolve together and from your friend astro friend sara it's a warm warm um bye bye 
and stay happy stay blessed be judicious be kind and don't get very impulsive and over the top in the new moon in aries energy <laughs> so till i see you in uh, my upcoming next videos it's um uh, and it's uh, Jai Matadi and it's also Jai Bholenath. <laughs> so um, take care of yourself and your astro friend Sara is signing off and uh, see you soon. Bye Starseeds.